How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George over here at Wicked Warnings. We stole mom's minivan, messed around with it a little bit. Actually, this is a brand new uh, 2021 Toyota Sienna Hybrid minivan. It's actually for our friends over at the uh, IIT campus police. This particular one's used for some security duties as well as student transport. So you might have saw a sister van we did earlier, a couple years back, with a full green light bar, uh, similar looking to this one. This is the replacement. We we're going to do a light bar on this one, but we decided to try a slick top edition. We may or may not add some upper windshield lights, but we're going to send it out into the field as is and see how it performs. Right in the front there, we back mounted our LED HAW Duo. That's a low dome in white. We back mounted it in the grill. We did this on a few other of this client's builds, and they like it. it. Gives them a nice white alternate flash in the front without messing with those factory headlights. Kind of looks a little old school, police wigwag ish. We synchronized it with the green Lin 6. Here in Chicago, green with a touch of white is a security color. So this is a private security company, so they're running mostly green. And you can supplement that with a touch of white here or there. So that green Lin 6 and our Haw Duo low dome in white and the front grille is synchronized up. It's a fairly easy location. If you happen to have a van like this, you want to put some lights on yourself. And we have all kinds of color variations on both of those lights. So if you wanted purple or amber or blue or red, we got it all. We did a little bit of side treatment on this van as well. What you can see there in front of the side view mirror on that little triangle panel is a green clear split Lin 6. That's the very same light we used on the front bumper, but in a split uh, color, green clear. We set that one to a slower alternation with kind of a, a longer hang time. As you can see, the light kind of hangs on. The reason being is it's right there by the driver's door, the passenger door, where you're going to be walking up to the vehicle. And I just didn't want it to be too distracting and blinding. They're going to be picking up a lot of kids with this van, so that light we slowed down a little bit. Now behind it, we've got another set of Lin 6, a green, full green, and a full white. That's alternating on a 75 FPM triple flash. One, we got it set up on each side in the back, far back windows. That's just to add a little bit more rear side warning. It's not quite as bright as that front one in front of the mirror because it is behind a factory tinted glass. So that one we went with a little quicker 75 FPM alternation pattern because that tinted glass dims it down a little bit and is not so bright right in your face. There's your little side shot for you. Then we can pan out a little bit, give you a little broader view. I think we got some good side coverage, both colors going on here. All right, let me pull it forward and show you what we did around the back. We're on back. We got a couple of things going on. We got a TIR3 pair in white. We've also got a LED Haw Duo low dome in green inside the factory reverse. And right above that, we've got our Wicked Stick six head in green white. Now, the stick is sold green white. You can use green or white or a combination of green and white. We're just doing green, and I'll drop it down. You can kind of see now a little closer. Sorry, the white T3s are definitely washing out the camera. There, a little bit of off-axis, get a little better look at what we were doing there. Now, those TIR3s were customer walk-in. Uh, we took them off a different vehicle, but our own TIR3 would mount in the same spot with a 90-degree bracket, and it would work just the same. We went with a little bit faster alternation on the hideaways there in green because of course any and all the danger for this van picking up and dropping off a kid would probably be coming from behind uh so that's why we put the big stick in the back window and sped up the pattern on the rear a little bit there's a little close-up of that stick you can kind of see a little bit better the color there what i'll do is i'll turn and drop you down show you the green right there in the reverse now that was not too bad of a lens to drill right there in the reverse housing you can come in from the bottom angle like that it's uh fairly easy and we've got that hideaway in all the colors so not only green now because this van is going to be picking up kids and they're probably going to have all kinds of backpacks and etc that's going to be thrown in and out of the back we went ahead and mounted the light stick in the rear window. This fan isn't really doing security work where that hatch is going to be open while it's working. So I felt no need to put that light stick inside. It's okay if it raises with the van door because, as I said, if the van door's up, they're really not going to be working here. I'm going to take a guess that the majority of the time those back seats are going to be up and there's going to be all kinds of people in this thing. 
show you a little bit how we mounted it there just used an in-house bracket we made up got a little bit of meat right there in the hatch area wired it all through the factory boot we went through the boot on the right hand side there it was fairly easy and we were able to keep it all clean and discreet here inside the van you can see we utilized our LIN 6 brackets and just rent with the wire straight down put those lights right up against the glass there here's a shot of that green white LIN 6 right on that front mirror panel fairly easy panel pops off wire goes forward into the inner fender comes out underneath the hood not too bad and here is where we put our switch. We're running most of our wiring kind of connected and uh, terminated behind the side panel over here. Gonna put a little label on that switch. Just did a full illumination blue switch. Lights up real nice here in the cabin of the vehicle. Kind of hard to miss. And uh, fast fact, these hybrids are kind of fun to drive around the shop because they're silent. So uh, I don't know, when you're pulling, the, pulling this in the shop, uh, it's interesting because it doesn't make a single noise. It's very quiet. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. If you uh, have a minivan you'd like to pimp out, bring it on in. If you got a security vehicle or a student transport such as this, get a hold of us. Make sure you check the description for the links of the products that we used in this vehicle. And also head right on over to wickedwarnings.com. Check out our new website with all of our linked products in there. And uh, any questions, drop us an email at info at wickedwarnings.com. Keep us in mind, we are your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment. And we'll see you on the next video wickedwarnings.com